we're gonna apply Odie's wood butter to this beautiful purple heart slab. This slab has been previously sanded to 400 grit and then previously coated with a coat of Odie's oil. Um, it is ready for the wood butter. The wood butter will help build a little bit on the, sh on the sheen of the piece and, and help fill in a micro builds in the grain here a little bit as well. Um, piece really doesn't need much, but the wood butter will add some beautiful depth and a little extra depth and a little extra protection as well. All you're gonna need is a, a non-woven pad. Very small amount to be used on this piece. Since this is Purple Heart, um, my calculation on this is I'm probably, oh, I'll probably get a thousand square feet out of a jar of this product on a Purple Heart slab like, like this. So I can do a lot of slabs with one jar of, of butter. And this slab's probably, at, let's call it 30 square feet. It's a wax, it's a hard wax. You see it come out of the top, it's still soft though. We call it butter because it's very much like taking a stick of butter out of the fridge. And that stick of butter is stiff. And then once you start moving it around or, or, or putting friction to it, it causes heat and it starts softening up. And you have, now you have a buttery consistency. And it feels like butter too, it's oily. So I'm gonna moisten my pad with it. I just rub the pad in the, in the jar, get it kind of loaded up a little bit and that butter will start getting into the fiber of this pad. And as you can see, really didn't use anything on here, right? But all I'm trying to do is get a very, very light coat of this butter on this slab. Much like using a wax, like wax in your car, like an old fashioned paste wax. Work it in in circular motions, just enough to coat the surface lightly, just to get, just like waxing your car. You don't put tons of wax on your car when you go to wax it. You use very, very little. And this butter is already transforming this piece. It's already bringing out a lot more depth in this Purple Heart. And these little pieces, of, as long as they're soft, they're still good. See, I notice I try to take the excess off of here and bring it over here to, to work in. Be sure to work it into the surface. The more you work it in, the deeper it's gonna get into the wood fiber and into the grain. And what this stuff does is essentially gives you like a micro build starts building on that grain, therefore enhancing your sheen. And it can be used as a finish in its own right. So let's say you had a, a piece of oak and you don't want to change the color of the oak too much. You don't want to get too much saturation where the oil gets deep into the oak and brings out more natural color in the oak. Well, use the butter, it resides a little higher up in the wood fiber, therefore not changing the color of the wood as much as the regular oil. And we just have this little section here to do. I'm just gonna put just a tiny little bit more on my pad and work it in. After I've got it all worked in, I'll let it set up for about an hour to two hours. On the butter, I like to let it set up a while. And then I'll buff it off once again, just like all the Odie's products with a clean cotton terry towel and I'll remove every last bit of finish off the surface until it's completely dry to, to touch. And it'll be quite easy because I used very little butter on this piece. And that's the basic application of the butter. I called Christina in to help me buff it off. And um, this is her first time, I think, buffing it off of a, the butter, isn't it? Is that correct? Okay. So this piece was finished with one coat of Odie's oil and then we put a light coat of Odie's wood butter and we let it set up for a while and now we're gonna go ahead and buff it off. We're gonna use a cotton terry towel. Once again, just like we do with all the Odie's products. So Christina, fold the towel up, you got the big, bigger part of it and you're gonna scrub it off in the direction of the grain. And that's the initial buffing off. And we're gonna get all that excess butter right off the surface. The goal is not to leave anything on the surface when we're done. Christina's already got most of it off the surface. I've already pretty much completed getting all the excess off over here. And then what we'll, go, we'll do is we'll wind up buffing it off even 
more thoroughly until it's completely dry. And you can feel the resistance, you feel that? When you know there's, there's, there's butter that was a little bit in that corner. If you use too much, the longer you wait, the more difficult it is. And that's buffed off. Let it set up for a couple hours, a day. You can wipe it down one more time and that piece will be essentially be able to be used in just a couple of days, you can start using this piece. Normally, if a piece is buffed off thoroughly, we can start using it the next day. We, we recommend 72 hours though.